Thank you to Cyberpunch Studios and Head Up Games for providing the key for this review. Walking simulators. Now there's a divisive topic. Many a debate have been waged over the validity of calling the walking simulator genre games simply due to the sheer lack of actual interaction or objectives that the genre is typically known for. Naturally, these factors vary from one experience to another, with some games falling into this genre having higher levels of player engagement than others. Many will place you into a world with a set path and tell you a story along a simple walk. Others, however, provide some degree of puzzles to solve or items to interact with. While I'm more than capable of understanding how the genre doesn't appeal to everyone, I've personally enjoyed quite a few games over the years that find themselves labeled as walking sims, each with different levels of actual gameplay, some being nothing more than walking along the path before me. And you know what? That's totally fine by me, as long as the story pulls me along on the journey. I do love a good story. So needless to say, I was excited to play The Fabled Woods. Created by Cyberpunch Studios, The Fabled Woods is a dark and mysterious narrative experience. This is a short story, and anyone looking into this game needs to be aware of that at the time of purchase. This game is very short, one of the shorter walking sims I've played. And while that doesn't necessarily make it a bad experience, it certainly could be if you came into it expecting more than the hour and a half to two hours of story contained within. The Fabled Woods puts players in a beautifully dense forest and guides you along the tales of multiple characters as you discover the secrets that unfold along the path. And through various instances of remembering, utilizing a transformative in-game view in which the world around you turns red and shadowy or something. More on that in a bit. As the story progresses, these memories uncovered by the remember mechanic fill in the gaps and connect each character's individual story into the overall narrative. This attempt at interconnected storytelling does work to some degree, and the story definitely kept me intrigued as I progressed. But I can't help but feel a little underwhelmed. Simply put, in my opinion, the short playtime works against this experience, and with each character's story coming to a close, I was left wanting more. While the stories serve their purpose and connect them all into one overarching narrative, it could have benefited greatly from a little more depth and context. Each story came to an abrupt end and, without pause, it was off to a new character in their tale. That's not to say it feels unfinished so much as rushed or maybe just a little underdeveloped in the writing department. Lending no favors to the lacking context and detail is the voice acting, which, I mean, it isn't terrible. I've certainly heard far worse, and not every bit of dialogue in the Fabled Woods is bad. Heck, I wouldn't even say any of it is flat out bad, some of it just isn't good, you know? Some lines are delivered flawlessly, while others come across as a little uninspired or disinterested, which can really take you out of the moment. This doesn't help, considering many of these lines of dialogue are triggered after discovering an item or clue through that remember mechanic that I mentioned earlier. A mechanic that I found to be so incredibly immersion-breaking. I don't hate this mechanic by any means, I just think it could have been designed better. For instance, pressing the spacebar triggers this mechanic for a set period of time. The screen goes all red and shadowy, and then eventually it pulls you right back into your normal vision. I mean, that's fine and all, but the way this happens and the time that it takes to do so left me feeling like I was being pulled out of the game every time I used it, and worse still, left me not wanting to use it at all, because all I wanted to do was enjoy the beauty of the forest around me, and there's no denying this game is beautiful as it drops you in a dense, lush forest and wraps you in a blanket of atmosphere and setting. The beauty of this environment that they have created is one that merits applause and the contrast it provides to the darker nature of the story and the mystery unfolding before you creates an eeriness that I absolutely appreciate. Which is all the more reason why I felt the confusion and frustration that I felt every time the fabled woods got in its own way. Every time it forced me to use a mechanic that ripped me out of that world. Every time it rushed to close one chapter only to cannonball into the next. Which is a real shame because as a whole, I think Cyberpunch Studios created something worthwhile here. I just can't help but feel like this serves more as a great proof of concept to a much longer game that I really want to play. Where the stories take their time, the time they need to feel complete. Where the developers have enough faith in the player to give that time needed for the atmosphere and the context of the narrative to really sink in and further explore the ideas presented here. All in all, The Fabled Woods is a beautiful looking game with a lovely soundtrack, 
and an interesting, albeit slightly underwhelming, story, if only for the fact that it didn't dive deep enough into its own characters and context before abruptly coming to a close, which is why I can only sort of recommend The Fabled Woods to those who enjoy games in this genre and don't mind the $10 price of entry. To be fair though, for the price of a movie ticket, it provides about the same length of entertainment, and at the end of the day, I'm glad I took the journey. I just wish the journey was longer. And who knows, perhaps Cyberpunk Studios will expand upon this formula in future releases. In fact, I really hope they do, because honestly, I like a lot of what they have here. For now though, I'll be watching for the next release from Cyberpunk Studios, hoping and rooting for them to meet the potential that I truly believe the studio demonstrates in the fabled woods.